this Alzheimer's is, is horrible, devastating disease, not only to the person suffering from it, but the entire family and the caregivers. It is dreadful. It affects about 47 million people worldwide. There is no known cure. So if somebody tells you there's a cure for it, they're not telling you the truth. There is no known cure. All, Alzheimer's experts are not involved in this project. They gave a word of caution, saying that it's too, too early to tell the strength of the correlation. I agree. I agree with that. And whether it could lead to effective treatments. All I know is this. When you have cor you know, correlation is very important, these relationships, things being associated with one another. Are they associated with one another by chance? Is it just chance that those suffering from periodontal disease are better candidates for Alzheimer's? Or is it not chance and that there is some, that some link between these pathogenic bacteria associated with periodontal disease, somehow affecting the brain. The odds of it just being random and chance here, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we have to be careful with our language. Notice they didn't say that periodontal disease causes Alzheimer's. They said it's related to it, correlated. I know dental health at an older age is very hard for a lot of people. Difficult. Yeah, very, very difficult. I, when I worked in a nursing home, that was one of the things that you knew a lot. And they tended to not brush their teeth as much. Right. They're hanging on. I've spent my share of time in a nursing home, you know, for my mom. And you see people in there, Gary, and you saw it. They're just hanging on, man. And brushing their teeth is the last thing on their mind. So, so that's why you have the staff to help them. But uh, the scientists from a, a Cortezyme, Cortex, Cortezyme, Inc., it's a privately held clinical stage pharmaceutical company. What they did was they looked at the brain tissues of patients with Alzheimer's disease and found... Uh, the, bac the bacterium, the bacteria associated with gums, gum disease. Porphyromonas gingivalis is the Latin name. I probably slaughtered it. Further testing in mice found that this bacteria could travel from the mouth to the brain. It's not a short distance. That's not a coast-to-coast -coast trip. That's down the block so to speak. And what they found was that the, bac the, mat the, the bacteria can travel from the mouth to the brain and it, the bacteria seem to increase the production of amyloid beta. It's a protein and it's like a plaque. It causes placking in the brain. And it's strongly associated. That, that amyloid beta, that protein is strongly associated with Alzheimer's. It is a key sign. Now they're, you go back in the causal chain and you're looking at, oh, periodontal disease, the bacteria that caused that, get to the brain. It's not the disease of the gums directly. It's the, what caused the disease of the gums, the bacteria, the bacterium. Hmm. They'll figure it out sooner or later. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, Lisa Kilgore is on today, I'm told. Yes, from Flora. Yeah. And sitting in studio with me is a pirate. We'll show you when we come back. Don't be stressed out or...
<laughs> Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. I have never uh, been on a cruise. Never. And one of our guests, who's a good friend of ours, uh, she's one of the favorites on the show, Dr. Sally Bird, is a big fan. That woman has been on more cruise, cruise, uh, cruises than I have since. Wow. I have yet another piece of evidence why I need to stay off those boats. Apparently, the pollution, air pollution on the ships is such, is such a high level. They say they compared it to being worse than the air pollution in Beijing. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's funny because, you know, we were talking about that in the break, comparison things. And you're like, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not as bad as Beijing, but it's worse than Beijing, you know? Unbelievable. Uh, this study, and by the way, my guest is Lisa Kilgore. She's waiting in the wings. But I had to squeeze this in. And when Dr. Bird comes in, you watch. I will tease her about this. And she'll say, oh, Doc, you know, and she'll go on. <laughs> Cruise ships generate high levels of air pollution and I'm quoting, that could endanger the health of passengers, staff, and port communities, according to an undercover report, no less, released yesterday. Oh, my God. This was uh, on a CNN line. I saw it. On the decks of four Carnival Corp cruise ships, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're just delighted to hear this, studied over a two-year period, concentrations of particulate matter measured were, quote, comparable to concentrations measured in polluted cities, including Beijing and Santiago, close quote. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't make it up. This was according to Ryan Kennedy, author of the report and assistant professor at Johns Hopkins University Bloomberg School of Public Health. Oh, I, I am just sure that this morning, or yesterday morning, executives for these cruise lines, especially Carnival, or beside themselves. The ship exhaust contains harmful constituents, including metals, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which I've reported on, many of which have toxic, possibly cancer-causing properties, Dr. Kennedy said. It is dangerous. It is not a healthy thing for us to be exposed to, close quote, he said. The vessels on which Kennedy took measurements were Carnival Liberty, Sailing from Florida to the Bahamas. We see these ships down here at the Port of yeah. Tampa all day long. They're right down the street from us. Carnival Freedom sailing from Texas to the Caribbean or Caribbean, depending on if you're, you watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Holland America, MS Amsterdam sailing from Vancouver to LA. And Princess Cruises, Emerald Princess sailing from Los Angeles to Mexico. Turns out that Holland America and Princess Cruises are subsidiaries of Carnival Corp. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I have never been on a cruise. Doc, and Dr. Bird has been asking me. The aforementioned Lisa Kilgore. Uh, Lisa, when's the last time when you were on a cruise? Oh, it was a long time ago. It was about 11 years ago. I've only been on one. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Happy New Year. It's nice to have Hello. you. It's nice to have you back on the air. Yeah, it's been a while. It's really nice to be back. Where are you today? Canada somewhere? Yes, on the west coast in Canada, uh, kind of near Vancouver. Yeah, we're on Facebook together. I don't know if you know that or not. I see. I do, I, yeah. I see you, your posts um, out there in these idyllic uh, scenes that you post and talking about health, trying to tell the people what you do for a living. I'm a holistic nutritionist, and so I help people in their real life create change and help them get to the healthy diet that they'd like to have in the easiest way possible. That's, that's what I do. What's the biggest challenge in, getting, in, in, in trying to accomplish that, getting people to change their diet? What's the biggest challenge in that? Well, I think the biggest challenge is the fact that 80% of the time we're in autopilot. And so when we're trying to make do something new, we have to shake ourselves out of that autopilot. And that takes willpower and that takes energy. And most people are totally exhausted. 
And so to have the energy just to be able to make a small change can be really, really hard. So one of my specialties is helping exhausted, burned out people get some energy back. Because as soon as they get some energy back, then that drive and and joy and willpower like comes back in droves and they can do everything they wanted to do. But but if you're totally exhausted and burned out, there's just there's no way that you can even do these small changes that you're looking for. Now that you said that, it called up a memory. When I was in high school, I ran cross country. And we had our coach, cross country coach, who was an ex marine drill instructor. That's why you need to train. That's why when you're in that race, you're trying to run that cross race, you can't succumb to the fatigue. So you need to be strong. And sort of to your point, when people are fatigued and worn out, they don't have the ambition to do the things that they want to do. Never mind, try to change your relationship with food that's probably been in place for... And um, that that doesn't need to stay. We, we know in my jammies. You but got, oh, you're uh, very motivated, knows what she's doing. Helps a lot of people into this game very strongly. And Flora is a great company. We come back, we'll tell you so much more.
a very interesting company. Go to florahealth.com. If you're a regular listener to Let's Talk Nutrition, you'll know you'll have heard probably a, a commercial that I voiced for Flora. We produced and I voiced it, um, produced, edited, and voiced. Um, for me to do that, that means I have confidence. <laughs> I'm not going to put my name, my brand, to any product that I don't think is meritorious. Uh, the Flora Dix product, that, that, it's fabulous. It's iron, an iron product. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it, I'm sure. Lisa Kilgore is my guest today from Flora, florahealth.com. Uh, Lisa, I know you have some things on your mind you want to talk about. I, I clicked on the link. I'm at your website. I noticed now you, you even have pet care products. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, they're they're new-ish to Flora. Mm -hmm. um, I I have two cats that are enjoying them. They're quite lovely. Okay, uh, what did you have on your mind that you wanted to share? We, we're showing a nice uh, image of you, by the way. It looks like oh, you're lovely. you're sitting outside. There's snow. You're by a tree. You have a gray sweater on, turtleneck. That's that, that's a better picture than me in my jammies. So I, I thank you. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to talk about today was um, the idea of detoxing and how to do it, do so gently. Um, because January is a really big time for detoxing, but, but technically our bodies don't want to be detoxing in January. And so many of us want to kind of like clean out the pipes from, from the holidays and from just a year of bad habits. And we can do that, um, but we have to be very cautious and careful on what we choose to help with detoxing because our bodies prefer detoxing in the spring. So we want to do this as well. Why, why is that? Why is that? Spring and, well, spring and fall in um, traditional forms of medicine like Ayurvedics or Chinese medicine are the times for detox. And it's actually when our bodies naturally do it anyways. So like in the springtime, if you, if you think, it, like maybe not in Tampa, but uh, where I live right now, it's, it's wintertime. So everything is quiet. All, all the trees are dormant. And in the springtime, everything starts to grow again. And that kind of triggers this, like, cellular detox in our body as well. And, and um, in the fall, we have a similar time when, when um, we go from growing down to hibernation again. Our bodies will do a bit of a detox as well. So in this time of nature hibernation, our bodies are also at rest. In Ayurvedic medicine, it's the kapha time of the year. And this isn't a time for great movement and change. Um, it's actually a time of introversion and thinking and um, allowing the body to rest. So oh, but when I'm working with people, they're like, no, but this is when I want to do it. And I, I hear you. Like in January, I also want to clean out things from too much alcohol and too much sugar in December. And so what I bring in is um, fluorescence. It's a wonderful tea that is a very traditional formula that can just support the natural detox cycle in a really gentle way. So you can accomplish what you want to do right now while also um, respecting and abiding by the natural time of the year. 877-897-8255, 877-897-TALK. Lisa Kilgore, educator for Flora. Lisa, as a 45-year-old male, where should, what's the first thing I need to do to start detoxing? The first thing. Well, the first thing to do is to recognize that you're detoxing every day anyways, um, and so your body naturally does this, and that we do need to support it a bit more. Um, today, the average person, um, research has found, has 300 synthetic chemicals in their system. And babies, newborn babies, are born with some, some synthetic chemicals inside them. So our bodies need a bit more support. And so the first thing to do is to really like make sure you're sleeping um, and you're, you're going to bed before 10 p.m. preferably and you're getting a good night's sleep so your body has the time and space to do its natural detox. Maybe clean up your diet a little bit. Um, but if, whether or not that's possible, bringing in something um, that's really, really gentle like fluorescence um, can help you with that kind of detox support really, really gently. Fluorescence is a, um, there's an interesting story behind that, Gary. I'll get Lisa to tell you about it and the, and the listener and the viewer. Uh, it's a long-standing product. It, it, it's a tea. Uh, if you come to the house, you'll see I have, I have it there. Um, I, it's a wonderful product. The fluorescence, now that you brought it up, 
can you give us, can you share with the listener and the viewer uh, and Gary, the backstory on that product? If you know what I mean. It's a really, it's such a cool backstory. So Flora as a company um, really looks at traditional methods and traditional ways. Um, they're always respecting both the body, but also that food or herb and how it's meant to be taken. And fluorescence has, uh, fits into that philosophy really, really well. Um, it's an old Ojibwe formula. So it was used for hundreds of years in the, with the, the Ojibwe peoples. And in 1922, um, a nurse, uh, Renee Cass, found it and um, started working with it and researching it herself. So almost 100 years ago, it was um, picked up. And Renee, um, with a partner who was um, JFK's doctor, they started working with it and working with patients and people um, who are ill, who are dealing with chronic illnesses. Um, and they continued working with it for almost 55 years until she passed away. And then um, the doctor and another woman kept working with it, and then Flora started um, producing it, that original Ojibwe formula, in 1992. So they've had it for now almost, 40, almost 30 years. Um, and um, so in the, in the Canadian and U.S. market, it's had a big history in the mainstream market, but it has a bigger history um, in the fact that it's been used for 100 years by this group of people and hundreds and hundreds of years by the Ojibwe people. How do you, uh, if, how do you uh, pronounce the name of that indigenous group? Let's say it slowly. Ojibwe. Ojibwe. Ojibwe? They uh, is that group uh, still vital now? I believe so. Um, I'm not sure. Where, I, I I think they're on the east coast, so um, mm -hmm. I don't hear as much about well, well, them. When we come back, when we on the west coast, when we come back uh, after the top of the hour, if we could talk about the the formulation of that product, I like what you said about. You know, nature in Ayurvedic medicine, they recognize that nat there's a certain intelligence within nature and that everything is in sync. And we are part of that synchronization uh, through the day and through the seasons. And in, uh, you know, in Ayurvedic medicine, they even have different times of the day, Vada, Pita, Kapha, and also the seasons, winter, uh, of course, uh, fall and winter is vata, uh, spring is kapha, and pita is summer. It's interesting how you know their their paradigm of medicine is so um, so in touch, in tune with nature compared to Western. I'm not criticizing Western medicine; they're just different. But that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn, and we're here to uh, share. Are you tired of being tired? So is Amanda. Right, right Flora Dix Iron and Herbs. You can probably relate. Between juggling her job and family, she was constantly exhausted. She put off one to the and making her dinner every night seemed like a horror task. Then she found out she had the most
special program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. 1250 wins, WHNZ. Hey, Florida. The cannabis industry is on the rise. There's an easy way to learn more about the cannabis industry. Just go and visit hightimes.com. That's hightimes.com. Until using Credit Karma, Cynthia Eden only ever dreamed of hiking the Incan Trail to Machu Picchu. At age eight, she mastered the ancient art of Peruvian pan flute. In her 20s, she subsisted solely on maize and purple yam. And now, she refuses to travel by car. Because in her words, that's what my alpaca's for. So when she learned that Credit Karma could help her find a credit card to earn travel rewards points, she finally made her Incan dream a reality. But on this trip, she went by plane. Her alpaca was relieved. Credit Karma, here's to progress. Hi, this is Eric Abrahamson with the injury law firm of Abrahamson & Utawick. On our website, we have a live chat feature. It allows you to communicate with our firm in a discreet and relaxed way. You can do so from your computer or your smartphone. TheInjuryLawyers.com, Pinellas Hillsboro. 1250 wins. WHNZ, Tampa Bay. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Okay, that's it. FBI, open the door. President Trump's longtime confidant getting a wake up call at his home in Florida this morning. The sound from CNN as Roger Stone was arrested on charges of obstruction and witness tampering in connection with the Russia investigation. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders. What I do know um, is that this has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the White House. CBS is Paula Reed. This indictment alleges that Stone knew that WikiLeaks had obtained information, these stolen Democratic emails, which U.S. intelligence believes were hacked by Russian intelligence, and that they plan to release them leading up to the campaign. In the past, Roger Stone has insisted he's done nothing wrong. Correspondent Major Garrett. Roger Stone would say, hey, politics ain't beanbag. It's a tough sport, and I play it at a bloody level, mm -hmm. but always within the lines. Well, the special counsel is now saying you've crossed the lines, and we're now going to formally indict you on these seven charges. Stone is scheduled to make a court appearance in Fort Lauderdale in an hour from now. We're just in. The FAA has halted flights into New York's LaGuardia Airport because they're short-staffed on this 35th day of the government shutdown. Delays are reported at Newark, Philadelphia, and Tampa. CBS's Bill Rakoff. A group of bipartisan senators, including Democrat Ben Cardin of Maryland and South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham, spoke optimistically of a proposal to open government for three weeks while they negotiate a border funding solution. But word later came from the White House saying that any solution must contain a down payment for a border wall. And that remains a non-starter with Democratic leaders in both the Senate and the House. The FDA is warning of more shortages of blood pressure drugs after another round of recalls related to possible carcinogens in hypertension medications like Valsartan. Federal officials say they may have identified the root cause of the impurities, but they're still investigating. An international investigation is getting underway into the murder of Saudi critic Jamal Khashoggi. Correspondent Cammie McCormick. The U.N. Human Rights Office says a three-member team of international experts will conduct an independent investigation into Khashoggi's murder. A statement says the panel will seek to establish the nature and extent of states and individuals involved. They're expected to report back in June. Both Turkey and Saudi Arabia have conducted their own investigations, but there are gaps in what they've found. A mom from North Carolina is grateful. Her little boy is back. We just want to tell everybody that we're very thankful that you took the time out to come search for Casey and prayed for him and he's good. Rescuers found three-year-old Casey Hathaway deep in the woods behind his grandma's house in Ernal two days after he disappeared. Dow up 227. This is CBS News. You have enough things to worry about every day. Insurance shouldn't be one of them. You can leave worry behind when Liberty stands with you. Liberty Mutual Insurance. With the stock market at all-time highs, cash in your profits now and invest in an asset that can potentially pay for up to 20 or more years. That's the sound of a producing oil well and the sound of a smart investment. If you're an SEC-defined accredited investor, you can take advantage of Encore Energy's projects. Call now to learn how you can potentially achieve 20 or more years of income and deduct 100% of every dollar invested against all forms of income. Call 1-800-803-8511. Invest in your future and buy oil. Encore is drilling in an area that is potentially one of the most prolific horizontal oil plays in the entire country. Oil prices are projected to rise, so you need to own a piece of an oil 
field. Encore Energy is the most active oil and gas operator in its core area of operations. Call now and learn how to deduct 100% of your investment and create 20 or more years of potential monthly income. Call 1-800-803-8511. You'll be calling directly to the home office of Encore Energy. That's 1-800-803-8511. Oil investments involve a high degree of risk and actual results may vary. I'm Tom McCubbin. Gardening is different in Florida. If you want to see a colorful yard, you need information that's tailor-made for the Sunshine State. I'm an extension agent emeritus, and I can answer your questions about making things grow in Florida. From Bougainvillas to crepe myrtles to zinnias, we're live Saturday mornings from 7 to 9 here on 1250 WHNZ in Tampa Bay. Call us at one 45 lawns or text your questions to 23680. Better Lawns and Gardens, Saturday mornings, 7 to 9 on 1250 WHNZ. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. Still some reports of minor slowdowns right now on 275 northbound between the Howard Franklin Bridge and West Shore. Things are also a bit slow on I-4 westbound between 21st Street and 275. Currently no delays to report along I-75 in either direction, and you can expect an easy ride across your big bridges and expressways. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abraham's when you do a Killsboro traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Peloton. Live studio classes in the comfort of your home. Winter or summer, rain or shine, with the Peloton bike, it's always the perfect weather to sweat. And with up to 14 live rides a day and over 10,000 more on demand, nothing will get between you and your workout. Learn more about the Peloton bike at OnePeloton.com or visit your local showroom. 1250 Winds Weather Center forecast. Cold morning temperatures right around the lower to mid 50s currently getting up to about 61 degrees under partly sunny skies. Mid 40s tonight, 30s to the north through the weekend, low 60s tomorrow, 40% chance of rain Sunday near 60. The following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. And welcome to the uh, 2019 edition of Let's Talk Nutrition. I guess I can still say Happy New Year, right? Yeah. Still, still early enough. It's your show. Say it anyway. <laughs> great to be with you thanks for stopping by we appreciate you um we are coast to coast and we are global and we get global because we stream out we stream this show uh we are a terrestrial show terrestrial radio you know uh across the u.s coast to coast all the way up into you know on the west coast going up into oregon and yeah we're there it's great um south through the south midwest Lower and upper Midwest, Southwest. We're we're, we're getting we're getting there. From, Bo from Boston to Hawaii, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. We like it. Lisa Kilgore is my guest today. She's up there in Canada. Uh, we could. I told her we could stream her into. We can stream guests into this show, no matter where they are in the world, and no matter what time zone they're in, of course. And she said, well, I don't know. I'm in my jammies. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's early there. Big time difference. So we appreciate her getting up so early and, and to come on to the show. As she is an educator for Flora. Go to, do you have a moment? Go to Flora, F-L-O-R-A, health, 
florahealth.com, florahealth.com. Uh, they are a longstanding uh, supplement company, been around a good while, and, um, you know, they have a, um, you know, these different companies, the mission, the philosophy, the point of view of these companies, they're not the same, thank God. Uh, it's not that homogenized. There's a difference. And some of the companies take that very seriously, you know, what their mission statement is, their point of, I always, I, I say, what's your point of view? I always ask that. Uh, their purpose and so on. And you can learn a lot about a company by how they respond or what they've written relative to those elements, point of view, mission, purpose. And you get a sense of what they're about. And you, when I, my experience with Florida, you get this sense of a company that is connected to a, um, can I put this? I don't want, it's cliche to say, you know, a natural paradigm. I, I mean, that's, I mean, that, that's become almost meaningless. Um, I don't know, sort of this more authentic uh, kind of tone to the company, natural tone to it. Um, some companies, I, when I think of them, marketing jumps into my head. I mean, they're flash and bang all over the place, marketing heavily and, you know, making lots of noise. Flora's... Uh, I didn't say they don't market, but they, they're, they are subtle. They're more subtle and natural and authentic. It's interesting. And their products sort of have that quality too. Uh, and I like that. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, they've been on, they've been a sponsor off and on and we're, they're back and we're, we're delighted. And, uh, Lisa's back as well. And, um, we invite you to join in the conversation at any time you want, you can call and talk to Lisa, if you like. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Dr. Garko is personally Mills. Dr. Garko at letstalknutrition.com. Follow us, like us on Facebook at Let's Talk Nutrition, on Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's got 59,000 views now at Let's Talk Nutrition. The other thing that comes to my mind, another theme about the company is simplicity. These products are elegant, you know, they're simple, but the, and they work, they're elegant. Uh, and that's another, that's, these, these are my perceptions. Now they may, you know, want to hit me over the head with a Sunday edition of the New York Times. They may not, that may not be the way they see themselves, but that's how I see it. Lisa, welcome back to the show. So much for having me. Yeah. Uh, the Flora, the, the company, uh, you, uh, you have a nice relationship with them and the, the, Fluorescence, that product, you told the backstory on it. What are the ingredients? In, and it's a, it's a, is it a, it's a, it, first of all, it's an herbal tea, right? It is. It's an herbal tea that's been pre uh, made by Flora. So they have done this really long um, steeping process. It's about a 10 hour steep to get all of the good stuff from this herb. So generally you buy it already made. So you just take like an ounce of it and put it in some warm water. Um, but you can get the dry herbs and do it yourself. Um, and there's benefits to both. And it's just this beautiful eight herb formula that um, each of the herbs works synergistically together. So each one comes with their own property. Um, there's burdock and rhubarb and sheep sorrel and slippery elm um, and red clover and a variety of herbs. And they each have their own body detox, cellular detox support in them. And then when they work together, the, the Adibwe, which is the original formulators of this product, um, they, they see herbs working together as a unified spirit. So when they work together, they um, really support, each herb supports what the, what the other herb does. And they work better when they're working together. And that's where these herbal formulations, that's why herbal formulations are quite traditional. Um, and this one is really respecting that long history as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there are eight herbs that constitute the formula, correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the in describing the product, it's a um, it's a full body cleanse, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of times when you're looking at a detox, it's either just working on your colon or it's working on your liver. And this one is going, um, it's working with both. It's helping both uh, function better, but it also is helping your lungs and your blood and your cells 
um, work through these excess toxins that are now in our life that weren't before and helps our, our body gently remove them. Um, and so it's working with our body's natural detox cycle, but supportive of that so we can get all of this gunk out of, out of our cells and it, out of our body. Mm. Uh, now, it's, it comes in a dark uh, glass uh, bottle, which is interesting. They didn't have to do it that way, but that's a better way to do it. Um, they all, they're always looking for the better way of doing it. So yeah. many of their products are in dark, dark glass bottles. Mm-hmm. Do you, you, you alluded to, uh, warming it with water or c- can you just warm it by itself? How, how do you, pre- how do you prepare that and, and consume it? So the best way is to, um, just mix. Um, equal parts of the fluorescence tea with warm water, so oh. an ounce or two with an ounce or two of, of hot water. And that is both pleasant. It's a really nice way to take it, um, but it also wakes up some of the aromatics, um, and that can help with your lungs. So you're going to be breathing in some essential oils, and that can help um, your lungs detox. You don't have to do it that way. You could just have this couple shots on their own or just use uh, room temperature water, but it is a lot nicer when you use some um, hot water with it. So it's it's made with uh, organic burdock root, sheep sorrel, and slippery bark, uh, 97% organic ingredients, right? 97%. Absolutely. So, and Flora, they, they do all of the production themselves. So I've been to their plant um, mm. in Canada, um, in Vancouver, where they were making fluorescence that day. So the whole, their whole office smelled like fluorescence. Is that and, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it's incredible. And, and the quality control uh, uh, group um, took me on a tour and they get the dry herb into their plant, like just picked off the vine. And they do all of the testing to make sure that um, each herb is of their quality, and then they make it themselves. So they're really hands-on. Their quality control, their quality assurance is, is absolutely stellar. And so I got I, I got to chat with a man whose entire like his he's responsible for the quality of every product, and he has such passion in making sure that that every single batch is up to their standard, and their standard is above and beyond what's necessary. When we come back, we had uh, some questions that came uh, through the Internet. Uh, we were messaged on Facebook. We come back, we'll address those questions. And you're listening to Lisa Kilgore with uh, Flora. Go to florahealth.com. You can learn more about all these different products. We're talking about uh, this wonderful product, Fluorescence. It's a great, it's an herbal tea uh, formulated uh, by an indigenous group up in, in Canada. And uh, it's been around for decades and decades. It's, it's a wonderful formula. We, we'll talk more about it. We'll be right back.
that shot on. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Lisa Kilgore is my guest. We're showing you a very organic shot of the studio. Here's my uh, Starbucks bag. I moved that out of the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Gary's dressed up as a pirate today. Pirate. He typically doesn't come to work with um, earrings, a pirate hat, pirate shirt. Uh, it's not Halloween, brother. What are we doing? You need to put your uh, mic on, oh. pal. Sorry. Uh, I'm actually on a float tomorrow. It, the float is the first float of its kind in the world that is ADA, ADA compliant. Okay, so float for what? The Gasparil Parade, which is the third largest parade behind the Rose Bowl and the Macy's Day Parade. Gasparilla is a holiday. It's almost like a holiday here, I yes. guess. <laughs> yes, it was at one time. It was Jose this- Gaspar. Jose Gaspar was a fictional, a a fictional pirate that they started the parade about, mm-hmm. and it's a big deal around here. People dress up and they have a parade and floats, and so you're on this float. Yes, and I'm on the the crew float. It's uh, the crew of Sir Francis Drake, which you know who Sir Francis Drake was. I, mm-hmm. He was a friend of the Queen, was a pirate for the Queen of England. And took no quarters when it came to the Spanish when he raided their ships. So okay, so that's why Gary is in pirate gear. Uh, he typically doesn't come to work that way. There he is, my man. He looks like a pirate too. Scary. Now I got a, the hat. So I didn't learn this as a history lesson. The hat it was an actual copy of whatever the French were doing. The English copied. So at the time when Sir Francis Drake were around, the Musketeers were around, and they wore their hats like this. Okay. If you were on the right side, you were a rifleman, and then if you had your flap up on the left side, you were a swordsman. swordsman. I'll be darned. What if you have both flaps up? <laughs> you have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Peoria, Illinois, and I know it's cold in Illinois. My daughter, I talked to her this morning. It was Three degrees below zero or something, eight degrees. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is in Peoria. Pat, welcome to the show. Hi. How are you today? Great. Cold, though. It's cold here. School, <laughs> they close off, well, most all of us. Wow, uh, that cold. Food. Wow, when they keep the kids yeah. home. You had a question about detox and how often. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Uh, first, I was wondering. go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. Please. No, go ahead. I was wondering how often should a person, I'm 67 years old, and I have, have no clue how often should you do this or. Okay, no, really th- that's a good question. You. Don't hang up. Uh, Lisa, welcome back, Lisa. You heard Pat's question. She wanted to know in terms of detoxing the body. I know there are four seasons of the year, and I don't know if you do it every season or what, but let me hear what you have to say, please. It's a great question, Pat, uh, because many of us are just kind of walking into this idea that we can support our body's detox. So generally, I recommend once or twice a year um, and and even to start when you feel like you want to. So that's why in January, a lot of people are detoxing uh, because they they feel the need to do that. Um, But in general, if if um, if you aim for spring once in the spring and or once in the fall, um, and just do a bit of a support for your detox cycle. That can be really, really helpful. And if you're dealing with things like chemical sensitivities or um, itchiness or fogginess or tiredness or just like new symptoms um, that might be just mild, like kind of sitting under the radar, then sometimes um, detoxing can help with those. Have you ever uh, used this product called fluorescence, Pat? No, I haven't. Yeah, no. it's a it's a very nice product. It's easy to use. It's liquid. Uh, after I open it, I keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, I don't know if that's recommended or not, but that's what I just do out of instinct. And you mix it uh, equal parts with how many? How much do you take at a time, uh, Lisa? What's the recommended dosage mixed with equal amounts of water? It's about two ounces once or twice a day, and and unlike many cleanses, you're not going to get you're not going to feel sick or tired when you're doing this, which is nice. But if you're concerned, you can start with just one ounce twice a day and see how it feels, and then increase as as you would like to. And yes, you're right. Keep it in the fridge. It is food. So once it's open, you want to keep it in the fridge. And you warm it up. You don't have to bring it to a, a boil. You're not smelting steel. 
So, <laughs> uh, or iron. So you just bring, you know, warm it uh, with equal amount of water. Let me ask you this, Lisa. What if you were to add green tea to it? Would that disrupt the chemical uh, composition of, of the product? Just a little bit um, because there is some bitters. Like it's not very bitter, um, but there's a little bit of a bitter flavor to it. And that's actually really good for your gallbladder and your liver. And you want like the, the part of the healing process is the actual flavor on your tongue. So if you change, oh. if you mix it with anything that has a different flavor, like, especially things like juice, then you're going to lose that property. Green tea would only do it mildly. So it's not t- like if, if that just makes it easy for you, just do it that way. What I find really easy is I take it from the fridge, put it in a mug, and then put equal parts hot water into it, and that brings it up to a nice warm temperature. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's sold in fine health stores uh, throughout uh, North America. You can always go to florahealth.com to learn more about it. Uh, So have you ever done a detox, uh, Pat, at that kind of approach? No. uh, I remember I had a colonoscopy, and I took stuff, you know, and it kind of, wipe you out there mm-hmm. no i've never had yeah it, it's an interesting concept that's been around forever uh it's been uh it's what's intriguing is that concept cleansing detoxing you'll find that in cultures that never communicated with one another but humans seem to have this instinct uh and inclination to want to do that which i think is intriguing so uh, it's not. This is not a new concept. It's been around for thousands of years. I think since time immemorial, humans have always tried to cleanse and detox out of instinct. But there's some science to support it as well. We appreciate you listening. We appreciate your call, Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We come back. We'll continue our conversation with Lisa Kilgore, educator for Flora. Don't be stressed out or anxious.
Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for stopping by today. Lisa Kilgore is the guest for today. Uh, Lisa is an educator for Flora. Um, Lisa, welcome back. Uh, Flora, are they officed in Canada? They are, yeah, their head office is in Canada, but they are, of course, right through in all of North America. And their subsidiary, they're from, um, they're attached family-wise to a German company, Salis. And the owner of Flora is actually the third generation um, a supplement company owner uh, with his grandfather and grandfather owning Salus. How do you spell that name? S-A-L-U-S. They're the, one, they're the makers of Floridix. Um, and oh, there's a whole line it, all through North America of the Solace brand. So uh, Flora distributes them in Canada and, and the U.S. Now that you mentioned it, uh, we, we would be remiss if we didn't mention Floridix. Uh, that, that product is amazing. Um, could you just chat a little bit about that and share it with the audience? Uh, it was one of my go-to products for my mom. She always, for some for different reasons, ran low iron levels. And that product was a lifesaver. Iron can be a really hard mineral to absorb. And when we're talking exhaustion, low iron levels can be ab- the absolute number one cause of that. And um, so to get an iron supplement that using with my, my clients for 10 years. Uh, and I'm, I'll 